Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Mac Shack owner Justo Cruz says the transition to takeout orders has been a struggle. 10 to 12 percent of a normal restaurant's revenue, and we're now trying to make that our 90 percent, which is extremely tough. But Mac Shack has helped keeping the lights on. Thanks to a cheese and jalapeno filled sausage product it produces with Register's Meat Company. Our sales have been crazy high with all the people that are shopping in grocery stores. And on the other side, our friends in the restaurant business, man, they have just been struggling for conditions outside of what they can do. Now hoping to lend a helping hand to struggling panhandle restaurants, the two companies are distributing hundreds of pounds of their sausages free of charge. They're calling it the sausage stimulus. You don't have to be a large corporation or um, have, have multiple businesses to give something back to the community. And this is one way we're doing that. These business owners and even some state officials hope creative ideas like the sausage stimulus will spread across the state. Everybody needs to take their part uh, in helping their neighbor, helping their local restaurants. And Commissioner of Agriculture Nikki Freed says keeping restaurants open will play a crucial role in restarting the economy. That's where all of our, our tourism dollars come is when people come and travel our state is eating at these local establishments. And partnerships like these can be beneficial to both parties. Helping keep restaurants open means distributors won't lose their customers when the pandemic eventually slows. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.